It's that time again. Welcome to Stitch and Maker. Today we are finishing the Mandalorian armor. So that means that the plate is all finished. I just have to attach it to the flat vest, but I will do that once we have helmet and accessories and the rest of the armor finished. Um, that's not this video. This video we sanded and painted and made it look all, you know, not like plastic and more like, uh, well, honestly, it turned out looking a little bit more like wood, but, um, you know, that's better. So I'm really excited about how this turned out and I hope you guys enjoy. I started off sanding by hand. I put down some large paper over my table to protect it and started scrubbing away. After about 30 minutes, I decided that wasn't the way to go. Okay, so I did a thing. I was hand sanding my armor and I realized that this wasn't going to work for me. So I went to the interwebs and asked for some advice on how other people are sanding their prints to make them smooth. I went to the YouTube channel Frankly Built and saw his video on sanding his prints and saw what he uses. And I went to my Discord group uh, for making Mandalorian armor and asked for advice on what to use. And everybody recommended a palm sander or a mouse sander. And I went, okay, I guess I'll get one of those. Ugh. I did. So here's my new little sander. It only was like 40 bucks. I was pleased. I didn't want to spend too much on a sander. Ooh. We have a little dust collector. That'll be good. I'm going to be doing my sanding outside because I don't want to get dust in here. Got my little sanding sheet, instruction manual. I'll be doing some careful reading of that. And there she is! So it looks like you just press the top of it and it just goes. Zoom. Cool. I will be doing some sanding with this later. Uh, while I was at the store, I also was in the aisle for um, some other small power tools. And I decided to also, because they were also cheap, get one of these. Uh, this will be good for the detail work and other smaller sanding. But it should be great. We'll open this one too. How does this box open? This is super light and small. Oh, it's cute! It's just a little Dremel pen, so. Yeah! There she is. So it came with this little kit of accessories as well. So that should be good. Um, I'm excited to try my new power tools. Such a grown up. All right, well that's it for this unboxing. Uh, I guess I should probably change and get sand. I filled in the ridges made by the 3D printer with white Minwax wood filler. I didn't care what color it was because I'd be painting over it. This stuff was very effective at filling in any imperfection and smoothing out the printer lines. Then I sanded it smooth using a combination of my new palm sander and Dremel with some hand sanding to fine tune it. I painted the pieces with a base coat of black acrylic paint. I just used CraftSmart. I think it's probably from Michaels, generic brand. I had a lot of it left over from some paintings I did a couple years ago. I painted two coats of the black just to cover the plates and then painted with two coats of the FX Armor metallic flexible acrylic paint. This stuff is meant to go into EVA foam, and that's why I had bought it originally. But it doesn't crack, and it dries really quickly, and went on the plates really nice. I really liked the burnished look of the plate once I had finished. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Um, I hope you guys are as excited about the progress as I am. I am almost finished with this whole project. I will be taking a break after I finish the helmet and working on some other stuff, so this isn't a completely Mandalorian-based channel. That's not the goal of this channel. I just want to do some crafting kind of stuff. That happens to be the project that I was working on. 
when I started. So we're going to do some other stuff after this video. I'm really excited to show you guys what else we can do. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. All of the support helps. Thank you again for watching and if you are interested in the previous videos of my Mandalorian, you can watch them up 